Hey YouTube, this is Fingerboard. Um, this video is a review of the new Berlin Wood Mold um, Elias Ath Smith Fingerboard. So, most of you know it by this graphic here on the bottom. Um, so it's it's the uh, deck that's not, not with a graphic, so it costs less than the other ones. It's I think it's about 34 euros. I don't know the, the um, conversion. I think it's like fifty dollars maybe, and I got it with Bur uh, Bollywood wheels and Bali trucks, not Bollywood, <laughs> Bali wheels and Bali trucks, and so just before I start, overall, it's um, a really nice deck. Um, this video is just going to be the review of the deck and its like performance. Uh, there will be another video posted of reviewing the Bali equipment, so. Make sure to check that out. So before we begin, I'll just do a uh, quick size comparison. So we're gonna compare it with a tech deck. So here's the size comparison for the tech deck. It's uh, bigger than the tech deck, like longer, and it's also wider. And the the the, uh, the board itself has um, a pretty low concave. I'll try and show you the concave right here that focuses. Um, it's pretty low and so and then the kicks are up there. Uh, the kicks are I'd say medium I think. I think that's the, the correct uh, correct what it is like that. So you can see right there and then the um, yeah so the, that, that's the kicks in the concave. Um, I don't, it's really nice. Uh, so I guess we can do talk about the graphic. Um, I don't know if this is the new graphic or not, but the other ones used to have a um, one a, a Elias Asmuth to the side. This is I don't know if this is new or not, and then it has the Berlin Wood logo at the top right there. Um, the deck is five plies, and it consists of. Um, Two, two plies on the outer sides are um, like maple or wood, I don't know what maple, I think it's maple maybe, I'm not really sure though. And then in the middle is this blue ply, which is pretty cool, it has a pretty cool um, look to it. Um, the, uh, the deck before it has the grip tape on it, the um, holes for the, uh, the screws were nicely countersunk. And the board on the bottom had a uh, place for the, I think it's the kingpin to go in. The like, countersunk hole. So there would be the four screws for the holes. And then the larger hole for the this part of the truck. I'm not, I don't know the name of it, but yeah, so that, the trucks fit in perfectly. Um, putting together, putting it together was a little hard. The, um... Getting the screws to fit into the trucks was kind of difficult, but um, once you get it, you have a really nice deck. So it's it's worth worth the worth the wait. But be patient when you're doing it. Don't don't get too angry because you can. Not saying I did, but uh, it can be a, a little frustrating. But once you get it, it's just so much fun. Um, so then the other thing would be. Uh, performance. I don't like this place or anything, but um, it has really nice pop. Um, if you're used to like close-up, which is a comparison right here, um, the close-up is about the same length and it's just a little close, uh, the Berlin wood is a little wider than the close-up I'd say. I like the, uh, the Berlin wood design better than close-up and tech deck because Berlin wood is more the shape of an a actual skateboard, I'd say, compared to a tech deck, which is pretty skinny, along with the close-up deck. Um, the Berlin wood has definitely a much nicer shape and feel to it. Uh, it looks just like a regular skateboard, which is very cool and looks cool in videos and stuff. So, yeah. Um, yeah, as I was saying before, it has a really nice pop. Whoops. <laughs> It's a really nice pop. Um, you can 
you can do a lot of tricks with this. You can do a lot of stuff. Um, it's really nice, and you should go and get one. They're available at the Black River website and uh, Flatface too, but Flatface doesn't always have them in stock, which can be annoying. But so I ordered mine from Black River. It came in I think two weeks, so it's a really good deal for a really good deck. And yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thanks for watching, and don't forget to watch my other videos and my upcoming review of the Bali equipment.